Hey, how's it going guys? Saad here and in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how you can create a custom memory wasm file by 3D Javas. In the last session, we have discussed with the some of the exported memory and so how to read it from this list and then takes a very quick look at creating our own memory to be exported by the assembly module. Now, besides being able to set memory size when you're creating ourselves, another benefit is having direct access to that memory object before instance taking a web assembly module. For example, in this read memory string function, we have reference to the wasm object from the stand CSN streaming callback. Already exists on the global window object, but it's just plain bad practice to declare use object before they are confirmed to be exist. So instead of using this window that was an object to access to default memory under instance export, let's instead create our own object which can pass the wasm via import. This being an alley buffer const was a memory equals to a new wasm that for memory so using the web assembly javascript api to create this for us pass this memory construct an object in which we can set the size of this memory by initial property if you recall from the previous lesson one i mentioned that web assembly memory is defined in pages one page is equals 64 kilobytes so we know that we can give this memory object any size we want for example, 20 that would give 64 kilobytes into 20 roughly 1.25 megabytes, which is quite a substantial for WebAssembly module. I'll make mine two pages, so it's 128 kilobytes. Then still on the environment module, we can import that custom memory object was a memory, and now instead of relying on the wasm object to existing on the global window object, we can change this to instead simply reference that custom memory wasm memory, which is much more logical for anyone to reading this. Code and a lot flexible in terms of sizing our memory requirements. Now we can restart the server, head over to browser and reload. If we check the greet function, now we have a problem. The event file received a new string from C, but the string itself is empty. This is because our wasm not knowing of our new memory object instead still creating and exporting its own default memory buffer, which we can confirm by checking the size of the export memory doc, which is nearly 65,000 binary bytes or 64 kbs of, of memory object being two pages or 128 kilobytes so how do we tell our wasm to import this new custom memory object then back in the same fiddle in our WebAssembly text we can see the default memory object is being created and exported here so what we will want to do instead then is import our custom memory from our javascript just like function here and have that exported again exactly like this the tricky part however is that the unlike this important function there is no real way for us to declare our custom memory using the c code meaning we will have to write our own import directly into this WebAssembly text format wasm fiddle don't allow us to edit this directly so instead i'll be using WebAssembly studio which you can navigate to under WebAssembly dot studio create a new web project and being the same text as wasm fiddle just an alternative and intentional changeable every version of where the assembly text format the only file we are interested in here is the mind dot where copy the text content of module from wasm fiddle paste and now change the default memory decoration to instead to be an import i will move it up and other import as this need to be passed first at the same import syntax our function so i importing our env module as we declared it from wasm memory object which we are exporting again here this one is being the size of the memory in pages so make two matching imported memory object size and then that's all we need so both of us which gives the wasm file main.wasm downloaded replace the current wasm in the loader that should now be work as expected our web assembly module is importing the custom memory object using it internally where it will store and now restart the server head over to browser click on reload we can confirm by checking wasm.instant.export.memory and you can see in the array buffer it's 131,000 bytes 
it confirmed that we are receiving the right form and if we check the grid function that works just fine the script will simplify in the next lesson of this course but again being comfortable with writing basic web assembly text can help with great benefits so be sure to read over these after each board and from the next tutorials i will teach you about mscripton and how you can do stuff with those so see you guys then